For all the negatives there may be when it comes to the tsunami of video game releases that we see today, there are still some positives to be found with it too. The two I've always enjoyed when it comes to the countless weekly releases is the thrill of seeking and the element of surprise. There is always a hidden gem or at the very least something very unique to be found somewhere in among the hype trends and the dumpster trucks. Sure I often run into games that are of poor quality, but when I do find one that is good, well designed or unique, there is a satisfaction knowing that you found something worthwhile that most have not, and the game we're looking at today is one such game. Antimatter Elevator is a 2D puzzle game developed and published by Zvorva, who is previously known for the Halloween themed 3D adventure game All Hail's Eve, which I covered late last year. The game released on Game Jolt August 2018 for PC and Linux. Antimatter Elevator combines the unique, weird and dark art design Zvorva is known for, with simple yet very effective gameplay design to create a very unique 2D puzzle game. Antimatter Elevator is a game that is based solely on gameplay. The objective of the game is to reach level 99 by matching together two odd coloured blocks. You take control of a blue creature that has the ability to extend its legs up to three floors. To progress through each floor you need to push and move the blocks around, joining the white ones with the black ones to make them disappear. You have full control of the bottom three levels allowing you to move the blocks up, down, left and right, assuming you can get the creature into a position of the directions and there are no blocks of the same colour obstructing the path. Once you've cleared a floor or row of blocks you can then move up a floor, with the next row of blocks moving down. The further you progress the more difficult and numerous the block layout becomes with each floor. You simply repeat this process until you finally reach the end of the game which is level 99. And that is pretty much it, that is what the game consists of. It may not sound very exciting when explaining the gameplay, but when you are actually playing it you begin to realise that while simple, it is very clever in design. It looks easy, but when you really get into it, you begin to realise there is a challenge to be found, as if you are not careful, it is easy to put yourself into an unsolvable situation. So throughout the entire game you need to plan ahead and make sure you are not boxing yourself in with blocks or making an unmovable blockade. If it comes to a case where you end up finding yourself stuck, you will need to start over from scratch, along with the level layout being completely different. This means no two playthroughs are exactly the same, so there is always some replayability to the game too. Antimatter Elevator is a bit like a very messed up and backwards Tetris in a sense. It definitely has the same principle as Tetris, that being to destroy lines of blocks, but it is still a very different game. It's one of those games that is unique and original, and there certainly isn't anything else like it out there, that alone makes the gameplay at least worth a try. Antimar Elver may be a very different game to that of the developer's previous title All Hayes Eve, but it has certainly kept that same unique atmosphere that the developer is known for. Between the obscure and yet simple art design and the slow, basic, yet somewhat dark music playing that when combined create a sense of unease. It isn't a horror game. There is no danger, but there is an unusual sense of discomfort when it comes to Antimatter Elevator. There is a sense of familiarity to the game, but there is also a sense that something is very wrong. And that is the beauty of the developer's work. It is always dark and discomforting despite there never being a threat to the player. And that is exactly what atmosphere should be in a game, something that plays with your emotions without the need for impressive visuals and complex gameplay. It is sheer brilliance and something that the developer has truly mastered, and it really brings Antimatter Elevator into a being of its very own. Antimar Elevator is one of those games that really speaks to me. It is a game that is different, a bit weird, and most of all, one that doesn't follow the tradition of the industry. It is not a game made to make money, it is a game created because it is what the developer wanted to do, and that is experiment while hoping that people would appreciate for what it is. And that's what I love about this developer's work. There is no market research or copying of other titles that have had massive success. They just make the game they want in the design that they want. In reality, it is a game that will be considered a bit of a time waste, but what separates it from other time wasting games is its uniqueness in gameplay, art design and atmosphere. It is the kind of game that we need more of in this industry of copycats and trends. And with that, I give Antimatter Elevator a 9 out of 10. When I play a game like this, it really makes me reflect on myself. I've always been different to most when covering video games, which in retrospect is probably what led to my departure from game skinning. I tend not to get caught up in the rat race for views and take my time to give proper fully detailed reviews. I don't like covering the view intensive games everyone else does, I prefer instead to seek out and cover those that nobody else either wants to or knows about. Much like Antimatter Elevator, I am a bit weird, the complete opposite to trendy and I would rather have people appreciate my work for what it is as opposed to just doing what everyone else does.